Hello fellow engineers I think I'll make this my first actual episode and I want to speak about Azure a little bit so Azure is this great service and it's Amazon Web Services um, rival AWS that's I think the king of cloud infrastructure but somehow I decided to try Azure instead that is Microsoft solution so I've been playing around with it a little bit I actually have um, a couple databases here and yesterday I decided that I want to deploy my application um, in a click once mode that is the um, easy way, easiest way to deploy applications like for Windows Forms because when you install it it will check for updates and it will install it, install it um, by itself so it's really useful if you want to deploy something and you just want to upgrade your form without having to tell everybody to download it f um, files again so the thing is for that to work you have to have um, an FTP or a shared drive where you can store your published files but I found a way through some googling where you can do the same thing through Azure so let me show you let me open my tool alright so if you go to the properties of your project you can set the installation folder URL and this URL is actually a blob storage in Azure so I downloaded this tool to Microsoft Azure Storage, storage Explorer where you can as access that uh, storage account for some reason I log in with my credentials and I couldn't see anything so I just uh, the user and key and that let me see my files so if I go to storage account um, file storage oh it's loading okay blob containers you have one called web um, this is the main form of the website so it's a storage container but it can also work for a static website so if I do let's copy this URL <laughs> so this is just a joke um, so this is Microsoft um, storage there so let me show you where it is so you have to create a storage account so I created one and then you go to containers and you have to here the one that you are going to use for your static website is this one so these files are the same that you can see here so the idea is that every time that you publish your net, mm, new website um, you'll go here grab the files that were written here so let's go there you grab these files like this and you can just replace them 
you can just copy and put in there and we'll replace them so every time there's a new you publish a new version you just have to copy the files put them there and publish hit publish now so that out will that will update the files and well you click here there's a publish HTML HTM file uh, site so this is actually created from Visual Studio I'll show you it's this file here so if you click install it will download a setup file that is this file here if you install it it will install your application I already installed the application so if I click here well this is the old version so disregard that this is the new version you can see it's checking for updates and it's uh, actually checking this URL for new files in this folder so if there are new files um, it will push it will download and update it so let's do a test we have main hub exclamation mark da 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 let's remove the exclamation marks so if I go here main hub let's go to properties let's go to the code F7 is a shortcut for that oh, that's weird Where it is How did I change that before? So many things you cannot remember everything. Okay, here it is. We have to click on the form. So let's remove this. Okay, let's say this is our new version, right? Now Let's go to Polish. Okay, here. The new version will be version 11. So let's hit Publish now. <laughs> okay, you can see it's still version 10, but we have to update the files now. So let's go here. Well, these are not the files that we want. Okay, these are. And you can see they've been updated recently. So you just copy everything. Um, let's go to the Explorer. So copy, grab everything, put it there. And it's going to replace the files. Yeah, there's a conflict, so we want to replace them all. Okay, it's ready. So we, if we refresh the website, we'll see a new version here. Nice. So let's close my tool and it again. Oh now there's a new version. Perfect. And of course Windows doesn't trust this crazy tool. So if you click more info you'll see there's a run anyway. Like you don't care. It's a virus, whatever. No, it's not a virus.
so now you can see the new version doesn't have the three dots so I thought there was something really useful if you want to deploy your applications your window forms and you have a Azure account um, that can help you with the deployment so just send this link to your users install the application and they will be able to get the updates every time that you publish the new application just remember that you have to manually copy the files of the new application so yeah that took me a whole day to <laughs> accomplish because some things don't work as good uh, as easy as you want but um, if you have any questions or comments I know the video might be explained better if I could take time to do that again but I think this is good enough so if you have questions or or, <coughs> or if something wasn't clear enough just uh, post a comment there and I'll try to explain it better so thank you and this hopefully be the first of many um, useful videos if not useful at least entertaining <laughs> Alright, see you next time and please subscribe and share the video. That will help me a lot. Bye bye.